and we have more power outages to report on. Uh, just recently, they've gone up to about 1,000 in our area, the newest closer to Green Bay in Wrightstown. And Mike, you said there could still be concerns for additional ones in the morning. Oh, absolutely, uh, through tonight and tomorrow, because even though the storm will wind down from the snowfall tomorrow, we're going to have lots of wind. So the power outage concern is going to linger through the day tomorrow. It's just hard to imagine. Yesterday was a nearly perfect spring day. And today, look at what we're faced with. Our Storm Track 9 radar shows snow is continuing in moderate to intense uh, status over much of northern, northwest, western Wisconsin. The dividing line of the snowfall that changing over to rain has been in the News 9 coverage area through central Wisconsin this afternoon. But for now, plenty of snow has been falling where you see the white and blue colors. Just to the south of Wausau through Wisconsin Rapids right now and other points to the south and to east where you see the greenish colors. That's where it's been raining at various intensities this afternoon. But notice out over La Crosse area, the snow is starting to fill in there. And we expect as we go through the evening hours, the snow line will continue to push to the south. So you folks, News 9 viewers down to the south that have been receiving rain, there is snow in your forecast later this evening and tonight as well. Quite a complex low pressure system that's affecting much of the eastern half of the country today with uh, the snow in Wisconsin, trailing band of showers and storms to the southwest of that, and over parts of the deep south, we're dealing with strong to severe thunderstorms today from Louisiana through Mississippi and Alabama. Some strong tornadoes have been reported, so this is an intense weather uh, situation affecting a good part of the country. Yesterday at this time, the temperature reading in Wausau was 58 degrees. Right now, it is only at 32 and temperatures in the area generally in the low 30s. But the winds, which have been picking up this afternoon, creating wind chills down into the teens and low to mid 20s. So after the spring-like day yesterday, winter has certainly returned today. Our forecast through tonight will stay blustery. The winds will be strong from the north. The snow will continue this evening and then gradually diminish overnight. We're expecting lows in the area of 25 to 30 degrees. Now our future track as of 10 p.m. this evening shows snow falling over most of northern, good chunk of central and western Wisconsin. You can see that snow is pushing, that the snow line is pushing farther to the south. The snow will continue throughout our area overnight but diminish toward morning. By 7 a.m. we'll have some light snow or flurries in the area but most of the steady heavier snowfall will be over for much of the area, but then it's going to be the wind. As I mentioned earlier, windy conditions will kick in tomorrow from the northwest. We have gusts of 20 to 35 miles per hour, even higher. By later in the afternoon, we'll have some peaks of sunshine, but we'll still be dealing with the gusty winds. Very cold weather conditions will linger overnight into Tuesday. In fact, Tuesday afternoon, we could have some pop-up snow showers and flurries in the area, just as we had a few days ago. My snowfall forecast total from this system from Wausau northward, much of northern Wisconsin, the western part of the state, 8 to 12 inches just to the south of Wausau down towards Wisconsin Rapids and Stevens Point. By the time you get there, around 4 inches and lesser amounts south of there. Our Monday morning commute forecast, we're looking at windy conditions for sure, maybe some lingering light snow or flurries. Temps in the area ranging from 25 to 30, but the gusty northwest winds producing wind chills of 10 to 15 degrees. Tomorrow afternoon, not a whole lot better. It's going to stay windy. A few lingering flurries far north. Then we'll have some peaks of sunshine developing, but highs only in the low 30s north of Wausau and mid 30s to the south. The northwest winds at 20 to 35 miles per hour will eventually turn to the west. It's going to stay chilly much of the rest of the week, but not very stormy after Monday. A few flurries and snow showers Tuesday, a few flurries Thursday. Very chilly weather conditions until next weekend. We finally start to warm again back in the low to mid 50s.